This 26 Sports High School Basketball presentation is presented by Cadillac Casting Incorporated. And welcome back to Cadillac High School. 40 to 23, your final score here as the Cadillac Vikings get the win over the Alpino Wildcats. Jay Simon and Kevin Gregory. And Kevin, well, this was a, uh, a dominating performance by the Vikings from start to finish. Maybe not quite as dominating as their road win back in December as the shots weren't really falling, ironically, at home versus the road. But every bit the defensive lockdown effort as they jump out to an 8-0 lead, 14-3, as you mentioned in that early first quarter, or early in the second quarter, hold the, the Wildcats to just a single field goal in the third quarter as they pretty much just run away with it in this one. Yeah, I mean, what we've liked to see from Cal, we watched a lot of Cal like basketball this year, and, and the one good thing, they took a ton of good shots today. Shot selection was on point. They really worked the aggressive 2-3 zone defense that Alpina was playing. They took their time with it, very patient, a lot of ball reversals, got the ball exactly where they wanted to most of the time. A lot of them didn't fall, but to their credit, you know, they did a great job crashing the boards, taking advantage of, of what they could tonight, which was, you know, getting to the glass, getting second and third opportunities. I'd be very curious to see the rebounding statistics. I, I'm not that good. I can't keep track of that as well here. But uh, the rebounding statistics would be interesting to see because, as you mentioned, I'm sure the offensive rebounding margin for the Vikings would be tremendous in this one. And that was with Quinn Craigle on the bench quite a bit of this game. He, he had a, a great start, and he had a fantastic third quarter, eight of the 15 that they had in the third. But... Uh, he was on the bench quite a bit. He had the, the little bit of a bloody nose issue for a little bit, and uh, they sat him for much of the second of half of that third quarter and much of the fourth quarter. Uh, even with him on the bench, the, the guards and the, the smaller forwards that they brought in really did a great job rebounding tonight. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, again, they took advantage of some of the youth on, uh, and inexperience on Alpina, and, and uh, while Alpina was very aggressive and they, they brought that 2-3 zone out and extended it past the three-point line, three, four feet, that puts you in bad positions sometimes uh, you know, on the defensive rebounds and the Cadillac guards did a great job coming from the opposite sides and, and like we said, you know, getting those second and third opportunities. Leading the way for the Vikings, Quinn Crago finishes with a game-high 20 points and uh, it was pretty much all Quinn, half of the Vikings output, but a lot of those from fantastic looks. We mentioned Vinny Genema, a couple of passes from Genema that led to Crago layups were just on the mark, great looks, and uh, just the beneficiary of an offense uh, well designed by Coach Benzenberg and his staff, and, and they, they, the kids did a really nice job of running it against this 2-3 of the Wildcats. They did, and you want to give Quinn a lot of credit tonight. I mean, we can't say enough about you know his ability and his touch that he has around the rim, and, and when he extends out to the 8-10 foot range, he's got a soft jump shot. We mentioned every broadcast that he's always in balance, and, and he throws up some funky shots, but you know with his ability to stay under control, he's able to finish them. Cooper Benson finishes with five for the Vikings. Gavin Daniels with three. Hunter Rensbury hit a triple in the fourth quarter. He finishes with three points. Tyler Barczewski with a bucket along with Vinny Genema with two. And then Keegan Brooks and Noah Zdradowski each go one of two from the line to round out the scoring for the Vikings. Meanwhile, the Wildcats coming off a 19-3 season, senior laid and a lot of size, suddenly have found themselves the other way as they are young, two freshmen seeing significant time, a sophomore point guard, and uh, a lot of juniors, just two seniors on this roster, but saw some good things out of Alpena, and those youngsters getting a lot of good experience against a team like Cadillac. Yeah, absolutely, and, and again, when you have a young team like that and, and chips haven't fallen your way for most of the season, at this point of the year, everybody's going to make the playoffs, right? And so if you can just find that little bit of momentum and get a couple of hot shooters, anything can happen in any game. That's what's beautiful about basketball. You get hot, you shoot 70%, anybody can beat anybody. Seven of the ten Wildcats get into the books tonight, paced by Chris DeRocher, the freshman, who finishes with six. Dylan Tucker finishes with five. And then Logan Guthrie, Isaac Jor, and Cameron DeCare all finish with three points apiece. Nick Skiba with a bucket and Alec Bell, excuse me, Trevor Rosnowski goes one of two from the line to round out the scoring for the Wildcats, who go eight of 11 from the line on the night. So the free throw shooting pretty solid, including seven of nine in the fourth quarter as they really got aggressive against the Vikings. That's going to do it for us. I want to make sure we thank Madam Director Hannah Crouch for running the show as long as, as well as Rain Johnson Hill assisting in the truck tonight. Our camera crew Wyatt Van Dynan, Dakota Pike, and Leanna Carr giving you these shots all in high definition here on My News 26 Sports. Make sure you tune in over the next few nights. At 10 o'clock we'll have replays including Petoskey Cadillac, Manistee Cadillac, and Mason County Central against Cadillac over the next three nights. And then we'll be back Friday night with a fresh dose Friday night. Bye. Bye. Bye.
as the Traverse City West Titans come in to take on the Vikings here in Cadillac. For Kevin Gregory, I'm Jay Simon. Have a good night, folks.